Naughty Malt King through the centre. Up he goes, away he goes. Welcome back, King. Naughty Malt King, four legs, Lomachenko, third. Naughty Malt King is after it and got there. The King is back. Yeah, our King's a very special dog to us. I mean, he's, he's been very good to us. And um, when he when he did come down with his injury, we if, if that was going to be the end of his career, that, that would have been fine and, and he'll, he'll have a, a place on our couch for the rest of his days. And, um, but um, to get him back is, is a bonus and we're enjoying every minute of it and we'll certainly, um, you know, look after him. We sort of view it as a team operation here. I mean, Bianca spearheads, uh, spearheads the three of us up, her Uncle Graham and myself, and we like to uh, support her and uh, yeah, just work the dogs behind the scenes when we need to go trialling or we need to, uh, we need to empty dogs or run them up the, uh, run them up the straight here. Uh, yeah, that's, that's really what we're a part of, real team effort. His first start over, he won the Carnival Chase um, over the 600 and we basically stepped him up to the 700 metres at Albion. He had his first start um, over the 700 and uh, unfortunately, you know, in the run, he just didn't look like he was running himself and, and after the, the run on the way home, actually, we got him out of the car and um, noticed that his Achilles had um, blown up a bit. Oh, it's not, not really common. Um, it's a a reasonably bad injury. Um, they really, um, depending on the grade of the um, tear in the Achilles, um, it's, they usually don't come back, or if they do come back, they don't come back um, to what they were. Um, we were very fortunate that um, when he did the injury, I was in contact with Jason Thompson down in Melbourne, and he offered to us to send him down and get his vet to check him over. And um, basically, he um, recommended that he have surgery, because surgery would, um, be the dog's best chance to come back and basically not lose anything. And so yeah, Jason and the Thompson family were kind enough to keep him and got the operation done for us. And he was down there for about six weeks until he was ready to fly back. And um, yeah, the vet's prognosis was um, very positive. He thought that the dog um, would come back and wouldn't lose anything. Um, so yeah, we're very grateful to the Thompson family because um, yeah, we would never have um, King um, back racing especially as good as he is in the back of our minds because of the severity of the injury um, we were very um, optimistic um, when we first started um, trialing him again um, his first ever hand slip we gave him up Kapalabar he basically he slipped very quick so we knew at that point um, we, were, we were confident that he would um, we were, he would come back um, as to if he would lose anything um, that you know when he started going around the bends again, that would have been more of an indication. Um, but um, yeah, as soon as, he, as soon as he had his first slip around the bend, um, he, he trialed faster than he basically has before he, um, before he did the injury. So that was, um, yeah, a bit of a surprise. So we're very happy. Bianca and I have been in dogs uh, a long time and the challenges keep coming. And uh, yeah, when you get a good one, there's uh, always, uh, always that chance that things like that might happen but to get him back is you know a real credit to, to the team and especially Bianca and and yeah we're just enjoying the ride with him he's been he's been awesome to us so far and uh, to get him back and have a crack at some of these summer races uh, yeah something we're uh, really enjoying um, just enormous he just never he, he never knows how to uh, to give up it was uh, pretty much his trait from when he was a puppy he stood out from uh, day one and and to have someone like him and to be able to guide him through his career it's been pretty special there's so much to look forward to in the TAB Golden Greys this summer. The great innovation and the launch of a slot qualifying race into the TAB Phoenix, a million dollar greyhound event through the flame to kick off the carnival is really exciting. The Golden Greys carnival includes the Gold Bullion and some fantastic other races over the six weeks from December right through into the new year. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's a, it's a really good initiative. Um, you know, the, the lure of, you know, 750,000, I think, is, is, is fantastic for, for greyhound racing and also the concept. I mean, it's totally different than what we're all sort of used to. And, um, you know, for Racing Queensland to buy a slot and to give us a chance to compete in it, you know, is fantastic. Um, you know, to go be able to go down to Victoria and represent Queensland, you know, would be a fantastic honour. And, um, yeah, so it's, it's great. <laughs>